Okay, folks, you know I'm the Raven, baby. And I'm going to show you something really, really, really cool. One of Adrian Michigan's prime jewels. Right here. Nova's. Soda pop. Candy shop. And candles. They got it all down here at Nova's. I'm telling you, this is one of the coolest places in Adrian, Michigan, USA. Check it out. One oh five Church Street, there it is. They're open for business. Pago Red Pop Slushy, Mackinac Island Fudge, they got it all at Nova's. There's a the front door for you folks, right there. David, that glass pop. What was that? David, that glass pop. Yeah, they got all of them, don't they? They got everything you need. <laughs> cool. They're open folks, let's take a tour of Nova's. Okay, folks, I'm standing right inside Nova's Candy and Soda Pop Shop right here in Adrian, Michigan. Look at this. I mean, I'm telling you, this is the coolest place in Adrian. One of them. There's a couple cool places here in Adrian, Michigan. But this is one of the jewels right here. I've been knowing Mr. Dave for quite a few years down here. They have all these metal signs. Remember all those signs you seen when you were a kid? Right there. A whole bunch of them. Look at that. Take a little walk around. Do a little quick tour for you here. And then we're going to talk to the owner for you. Mr. Dave. Look at this. Old gold cigarettes. Remember them? Old Judge Tobacco. Odin Cigars, Chesterfields. Hey, there's one we all know and love, the Super B. Pepsi. Take a little look around Nova's for you today. Taffy, any kind you want, they got it right here at Nova's Soda Pop and Candy Shop. And folks, if you're ever downtown Adrian, Michigan, they're really building the place up, fixing it up like it used to be, real nice. You ought to stop by Nova's here and buy some stuff from Dave. He's a great guy. Great shop. Fabulous addition to downtown Adrian, Michigan, USA. Let's take a little walk for you here, show you Nova's. You got these killer old neon clocks. Look at those. A and W root beer. Up on the ceiling. All the signs. Look at that. Amazing. Just amazing. And I've seen a lot of stuff. If I tell you it's amazing, it must be amazing, folks. Any kind of candy you want right here. Look at this. They got bins full of candy. Lots of it. Zagnet bars, Tootsie Rolls, Pop Rocks, you name it. Nova's Candy and Soda Pop Shop has it all. Hey Dave, how you doing? How you doing, Raven? Pretty good. I didn't even notice she was in here earlier. <laughs> That's because I'm like a ghost. <laughs> you, know my, you know my friend Gator? Um, yeah, I think I do know him. He, he helped us out with the car show. Cool, cool. He's got the little 11 twist uh, yellow milk. Oh, yeah, I know that car. We do them uh, every first Friday. We do a lot. 
Okay, I'll be back in a second. Showing everybody what a cool shop you have here. All the signs, all the candy. We're gonna take a little tour and you can show us around here in a minute if that's okay. Now there's the front door folks right there. All you gotta do is just walk in. You can handle that, can't you Frank? <laughs> Look at this. These are all the candles you can buy at Nova's right here. Taking a little preliminary tour of the place for you. Just to show you around so you'll see what's going on down here in Nova's. Beautiful, beautiful place. Such a fine jewel for Adrian, Michigan, USA. T-shirts, they got them. Rosie the Riveter right up there. You remember her, don't you, Bob? Now Nova's Candy and Soda Pop Shop has a ton of different kinds of soda. Look at this. I mean almost any kind you can dream of right here. They got the regular stuff, Coca-Cola and the Monster stuff. You can get all that stuff at the regular store. But this is the stuff you cannot get at the regular store. Look at all this. I'm not kidding you man. They have tons and tons and tons of specialty pop over here. The stuff you cannot buy at Kmart or that other place, Walmart. I kind of like that thing right there. Stick my finger in there, I might get a big shot of juice. <laughs> Keep the raven going for a while. Here's some more of the specialty pop right here. Look at this. Knee high. Remember you used to buy those when you was a kid, Frank. Look at that, man. You can get it now at Nova's. Look at all this. Dad's root beer, when's the last time you had one of them, Bob? And Martha, they got your squirt right up there, look at that. That's the stuff you like in the old 7-Up bottles, look at that. Over here we got all the Stewart's fine soda pop. I drink this stuff myself. It's fabulous, fabulous. I love it, love it, love it. Jones, soda pop right there. Very, very good friend of mine is named Jones. She's a sweetheart. Now, if you're into comic books, check this out. Man, oh man, oh man. Comics, comics, comics for you. Look at this. You got them all. Fantastic Four, Xfinity, Deadpool, Spider-Man, Black Panther, Major X, everything. Catwoman, there she is over there. Uh-huh, Walking Dead Day, Superman, I used to be a big Superman guy myself. I used to read them Superman comics when I was just a little raven. Fabulous, fabulous comic book collection you're looking at right now. And these are all for sale. You can come in here, Nova's Candy and Soda Pop Shop, and buy these things. Batman, there he is right there. The Batman's coming your way. Fabulous, fabulous little store in Adrian, Michigan, USA. Hey, there's my boy right there, Superman. He stands for truth, justice, and the American way, just like the Raven. Got a little car up there. 
very, very cool place here in Adrian, Michigan, USA. See if we can get us a little interview with the owner here. Good friend of mine, Mr. Dave. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Doing good, man. How you guys doing? Oh, we're doing all right, man. Come by to see your shop today. You think you'd give us a little bit of a tour? Sure, I'd, I'd love that. That'd hey, be great. I know you just was over in a comic book room. Let's go over there first. Okay, okay, sure. Lead the way. I'll follow you. All right, here we and go. And remember, talk loud because we want all these guys to hear you. Okay. This is this is our comic book room. It's run by my son. He he comes in. He takes care of all the comic books. I don't know that much about it, but I will say this: we was the first one to bring comic books back to Adrian about three or four years ago when everybody else was done with them. And now there's uh, two or three different places selling them. Comic books is still a big business. I mean, it's growing all the time. And uh, every Wednesday we get our new releases in. Right over here. The new releases are actually over here. Oh, I'm looking over. the wrong way. Here, we're going to flip this around. These are the new releases that just come out this week right here on this wall. Okay. And then uh, these up here are some of the older ones, a little bit more expensive. Okay. Collectors. And we got all the posters, too. We have them for sale. Yeah, these posters are great. I had one or two of them when I was a kid, and then... Lost him along the way. Like he said, folks, he's the first guy to bring comics back to Adrian, Michigan. And you know, as soon as somebody does that, four or five guys follow suit but they're in the rear. <laughs> Hi Raven, hey this is our soda pop. Look at all the different glass bottles that we have. And they're, everything we sell is a glass bottle except we, got, we have a couple cans over here, but Fabulous. Very, very unique. And I'll tell you what, when it comes to root beer, that's our number one seller, Dog and Suds. Right there. Yep, it is. Um, I remember that dog and suds from a long time ago. They have drive-ins like A and W Root Beer, but yeah. I think the only one, only drive-in left is up in uh, Muskegon. There's huh. dog and suds up there. I'm right. telling you, it, it's worth the trip just to stop in and grab one of these things. Let me show you a little bit of our ice cream. Dippin' Dots, very hard to find. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen them or not. But they're really I don't unique. remember these right offhand. Tell me more about these things. What are they're, Dippin' they're Dots? Little, they're little balls of ice cream, and they're made with the um, freezing the nitrogen or whatever they do. The uh -huh. freezer has to be 40 below zero, and that's why everybody doesn't have them. And they have all kinds of different flavors. And you got yours at 39. Look at that. Yep. And then moving over here, we got the very unique ice ice box brand. If you take a look at these here, you can tell you the different flavors. This is some really unique stuff made right in Muskegon, Michigan. Wow, homegrown Michigan stuff. Absolutely. Fabulous. This, this time of year, the ice cream, the pop, and the slushies, they sell right, right off the wall. And stepping over here, this is probably the biggest kid attraction that we have in the store. Pucker, Pucker powder. powder, what is that? It's very similar to the old pixie sticks. Okay. Actually, it's the, the, it's the same ingredients and everything, but you can pick your, your tube, you can fill the tube up. Wow. You can mix it up, and you know what? We have the mega tube, which is over five foot tall. Wow. And the kids come in for this thing. If they fill this up, they, we put them on Facebook. They love it. <laughs> I love it, too. This is probably the biggest selling item we have for kids in the store. I mean, huh. The only place you see these things right here is like at Cedar Point or somewhere like that. Yeah. But not us. We have right here at Adrian. Sweet. Pucker powder. Here. We got the old uh, Zots. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that everybody can remember them. That's from my generation. I think it's like really popular in the 80s. Yeah. We got some more nostalgic candy over here.
And Jelly Belly's right here too. Look at that. Man, oh man, you got it all, Dave. Here's another big attraction for the kids. They love these. What are those? That's that's a sucker with a cricket. That's a real cricket in there. Wow. They love it. And also the ant candy. Ant candy, can't, all right. Can't keep them in stock. <laughs> Some cool. are nostalgic stuff. The sugar daddies, sugar babies. Uh-huh. Nick Nick and Nip. Do you remember these? Yes, I do. Would you, you have any idea how they got their name, Nick and Nip? Uh-uh. Back in the day, they used to call us a nickel. That's where the nick come from. Right. And you'd nip it, you'd cut the top off with your teeth and drink it. Nick right. I remember them when I was a kid. I'm going to have to come back for some of them. I didn't know you had those in Don't here. come back. I'll make sure you get some before you leave. Remember the clove, the beamons, and the blackjack. You betcha. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. They just come back out with these back in December. Mm-hmm. Very hot product for them. I'm a beamons fan myself. I love those things. Yep. And then we got all the pets. For the pest collectors. Right. The kids. I mean, this is just a fun store. We have so much stuff. You know, can I tell you a little bit of history about our store? Sure you can, Dave. Well, we've been in business for 17 years right here in downtown Adrian. We started out at 123 North Main Street. Right. We started out with candles, set of candles, which we still do the candles. We have downsized them. And we had the signs, and that's all we had. And then in 2012, we had the opportunity to buy this building at 105 East Church Street. And then about a year later, we decided we wanted to grow a little bit, so we added the nostalgic candy and the soda pop and the comic books. So that's where we're at today, 17 years later. Right. That's a good long time. And like I already told the folks, um, this is one of the jewels of Adrian, Michigan. Um, this town, years ago, it got kind of run down, and the downtown was kind of fading fast. But the city's really got behind this place, and they're starting to fix downtown up. Uh, and there's a few jewels in town, and you're one of them. Thank you. Uh, downtown Adrian is coming back. There's, uh, there's no a lot, doubt. A lot, of, a lot of good reasons to come downtown now, especially mm -hmm. the, we do the first Friday thing with the car show, and we have in August we're going to re rock Woodstock. I don't know if you heard about that. Yes, I did. We have a band coming in, Gordy Sharp and the Metros. You bet. One and, of my uh, buddies. We're having a, a best dressed hippie contest. It's going to cool. be a lot of fun. And then on the other end of town, they're doing a dog show. Uh huh, really? But, yeah. And that's in the dog days of summer for August, and then of course we got the car show going all the way through town. It's going to be really packed down. Here. Is that dog show going to be the same day as the Metro's play? Yes. Wow, that's cool. I'm it's going to be, be on here. the other end of town. It's going to be down to Joe Wagley's Real Estate. Right. They're going to do a little parade around uh -huh. the block so with the dogs. With the dogs. They wow. Do it every, they do it every year, and that's been growing every year too. That is and so now, cool. And now getting back to the dog days of summer, I have uh, contacted Hum Lenawee County Humane Society. For the whole month of August, every slushy that we sell, we're donating a dollar to Lenawee County Humane Society. So oh my God! Slushies are two bucks. One of them's going to go straight to the Lenawee County Humane Society. August for the hey whole month. Hey folks, you heard it from Dave, the man himself. You got to run down here and buy some slushies to help the kennel out. You know they need all the help they can get. When, when's the last time you seen an old fireball? I haven't seen one of those for a while, Dave, yeah, last what? time. We sell a lot of them, and they're good hot cinnamon if you like it. Yes, I love those fireballs, I man. Think, I think we sell more to women than we do men, believe mm -hmm. it or not. I don't, I'm not sure why. <laughs> but let's go down here. I want to sure. show you my uh, 1800 popcorn cart. Okay. This is great, folks. You're getting a real treat here. This is our uh, popcorn cart. It, the, the cart itself comes from the... Uh, early 1900s, late 1800s. The popcorn machine was upgraded in uh, like 1980s or something. It, uh, it's got all the lights. They used to use it up in the Detroit area at the street fairs to make the popcorn and stuff. Okay. It's really a unique item. And on it, we use it for a display right now. We have our Mackinac fudge, Mackinac Island fudge, Mackinac Island uh, popcorn, caramel corn, comes right straight from Mackinac. Wow. It's, it's really good stuff, and I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. Okay. If you if you look at this, this is a seven ounce piece of fudge, blueberry. Right. Price is three ninety nine. Right. Go to Mackinac, it's nine ninety nine. Right. So there you go. Hey, you can't beat that with a hey, stick. Talk about a stick. Rock candy on a stick. Rock candy, man. That's my favorite, Dave. You know that. Plays hard candy. Yeah. Whorehounds. Do you remember the whorehounds? Uh huh. Yep. I sure do. Yep. Hey, here's our slushies. Okay. Okay. 
They're, they're still cooling down or not? That's a real in? slushy machine, folks. It's not one of those creepy 7-Eleven ones. A dollar a piece. They're two dollars a piece, a dollar in August is going to Lenaway County Humane Society. Oh my god, I our, think that's capital. Our our balk chocolate. In wow. the summertime, in the summertime it's downsized a little bit, but I will tell you we have some great chocolates. Chocolate malt balls, chocolate covered raisins, chocolate almonds, chocolate covered peanuts. Oh man. Chocolate covered cashews and check this out. This is one of our best sellers. Chocolate covered gummy bears. Oh my God. If you've never tried these, you got to. They're good. Hey. You know what? I've been coming in here for a crackers? long time and I've missed a lot of this stuff. How about Cracker Jacks, remember? Cracker them? Jacks, look at that, folks. Wow. Yahoo chocolate milk. Uh-huh. Now in a chocolate bar. Wow. Blackjack taffy, right next to it. Man, oh man. Hey, talking about taffy, check this out. This is fabulous, Dave. About every kind of taffy you could think of right There's there. nothing better than taffy in the summertime. It's all nice and soft. And I don't know, folks, if you know about saltwater taffy, but sometimes Google it because there's kind of a little story about the saltwater taffy. It, it'll be interesting for you to check out. Here's some of our, uh, some more of our glass bottle sodas. Uh huh. There's our best selling bottle. I'm a sodas. real. <laughs> I'm a real fan of those town clubs right there. Can you tell us a little bit about the town clubs? Well, town clubs made up in Detroit. Right. It's a Michigan-made product. And, and the thing that everybody remembers about town clubs from my generation when they come in, is down at the old Raymond Forge building, they used to have a town club store. You go in there and you could buy the glass bottle town club. It would come in a wooden crate. Really? And a lot of people would go in there and buy it because it was, it was a lot cheaper than buying Pepsi or Coke. Sure. And it, and it had all the different flavors. Right. And um, there's people come here telling us, I remember going down there and buying that in a wooden crate. Now that Raymond Ford down there, that was one of the first Ford dealers in Michigan, if I'm not mistaken. It, it was. And yeah. Henry, Henry Ford had a connection to it. Sure did. There, there was a story about that. Sure. Yep. And then, uh, you know, we, we skipped over one of the best parts about our store. The people from my generation, again, Bummies Drive-In. Oh, yeah. Do you remember Bummies Drive-In? I sure do, Dave. I can't see it right there because the sun's getting me right there, but let, let, that's a Bummies Drive-In t-shirt. Let's walk around here. I got some nostalgic signs from uh, Bummies and a couple other places. Okay. Fabulous store, folks. You're getting the grand tour from the master himself, the owner, Mr. Dave. This uh, Bummy sign right here. Okay, I is, like that. This is the actual original menu from Bummies when they opened up in the 50s. Wow. Great stuff. I used to remember Bummies. We used to cruise in the cars and we'd go to Bummies and turn around and go north and then we'd come back south and end up there at Bummies again. There you go, there's another sign. The hobo there. sandwich, oh my god. Yep. And everything here is off the original menu too. But mm -hmm. All this stuff. And then getting back to the first Fridays in, in September, we do what we call a Bummies cruise. Really? It's part of the car show. We line up the classic cars and that line up out to the mall. We have a police escort coming in downtown to the car show. Last year we had 65 cars in the parade. My God, that's it was, cool it was for awesome. Adrian. They had, they had every one of the red lights blocked and we just cruised on into town. We had a great great crowd watching. And Sweet. Blocked. And we'll be doing it again this year too. All right, are you going to do that for the um, August 2nd show? No, that's September. Okay, in September you'll August do that. August 2nd we're going to re-rock Woodstock. Right, right. But there is going to be a car show too. Yes. Out front, yes, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. You heard it from the man, folks. Show up down here downtown. Now, what about this little popcorn machine over here? That one's a cute little one, too. Look at that. We, we actually still use that, too. We use that on First Fridays because during the First Friday events, we give away free popcorn. Okay, cool. And more and more of the signs. Look at that. Got your Coca-Cola up there, Pepsi, everything. I love that Coke bottle. That thing is great. Hey Raven, you got any idea what this is? I think that might be a bottle capper. Exactly. You're right. You would put the bottle cap right here. Uh huh. Set her in the press and push her down. Well. Wow. <laughs> I can imagine how long it would take you to do it. That's a hundred, very, a very old cases. one, isn't yeah. it? That's the way they used to do it. Uh huh. I was gonna start a soda pop company one time and just never kind of got it off the ground. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 
I like that old bottle capper. That thing is cool. I bet you didn't know that we still sell Duncan Yo-Yos. No, I didn't know that. Do you remember the Duncan yo -Yo? Yes, I do. Check this out. Duncan Yo-Yo right there. Look at that, folks. We have the old uh, Imperial on uh -huh. the butterfly. Wow. It brings back some good memories. Sure. Back then, we didn't have the computers and stuff we have today. This, uh -huh. this was the highlight of the day. I know. In between playing baseball. Right. And uh, I went through a yo-yo craze a bunch of years back, and I went downtown to try to buy a yo-yo. I couldn't find one anywhere. You didn't go to the right place. Right. I didn't come here. <laughs> well, I didn't know you had them. Yep, we do. And what's this stuff here? Bean Boozled. Bean Boozled. The kids love that stuff. It's kind of a... a, a tricky game. Okay. If you look on the back, you'll see these two jelly beans look the same. Right. Problem is one of them tastes like a rotten egg. Whoa. And one of them tastes like buttered popcorn. <laughs> and you don't know which one you're going to get. Uh-huh. Sweet. Did you know that we uh, also sell snow cones? Huh, I didn't know that either. Right over there you can take a look at what we got in our flavors. The little sign sitting there. Man, like I've been in here, what, uh, 700 times and I missed all this stuff. How did I do that? And then on Saturday mornings we make our own cotton candy. Oh my god. And you know what's coming in uh, next week before the car show? What's that? Malts. We're going to have all for malts. Milkshakes. Those are great. I love milkshakes. Yep. I'm coming back here folks. I bought some roasted cashews brother. Yeah man. Gotta have those. Look at that. Roasted cashew, hot, fresh, and roasted nuts. Oh my gosh. Man, oh man, this is one of the coolest places in Adrian, Michigan. Bar none. Nova's, candy and soda pop. Any idea how we got our name? Um, no, I don't. You wanna guess? I think it's because of your wife, maybe? That is correct. My wife's name is Nova, and that's hence Nova Soda Pop Candy Shop. Right. That's cool. Name it after her. I love that. Hey, Raven. Keeps it in the family. First of all, I want, I want to thank you for videotaping us today. Sure, no I problem. I want to ask you about, don't you have that worldwide internet TV station? You betcha I do. Well, this is shooting around the world right now. How do we get on that? Um, it's www.globalworldtv.com and ravenworldcommunications.com and globalworldtv.com is Adrian's, <coughs> excuse me, Adrian's first television station. So I'm making a little history here too. Well, I appreciate you coming in today. No and, problem, and I Dave. I hope you enjoyed your tour of, of our store. And I loved it. On a weekly basis, we try to get new stuff that's, that's unique, stuff that you can't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So. You've been one of the movers and shakers in this town. You're out in front of a lot of people. I noticed that a long time ago. That's why I stopped in your shop a long time ago because I noticed that. I know you and Barb come in quite a bit. She, she loves a big Tootsie Roll. Yep, she's a big Tootsie Roll fan. And I fan. think she gets the town club pop too. Uh-huh, she sure does. Tell, uh -huh. her I, tell her I said I appreciate it. I will. Business. Well, Dave, thanks for giving us the tour, man. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate okay, it. I love the place. And y'all don't forget, Nova's Candy and Soda Pop Shop right here at 105 Church Street. That's where it's at, downtown Adrian, Michigan, USA. You just seen it from the Raven himself and Mr. Dave, the owner of the shop. It doesn't get any better than that, folks. There's a little car up there for you. They got old signs. There's an RCA color TV sign up there for you. Say Pepsi, please. Comic books, they got them. Okay, folks, you've seen the tour. I'll see you on Facebook. I'll see you on YouTube. And I'll see you on Internet TV. Catch you later, baby.